Okay, folks, right now we're at Browie Mill, uh, a forest preserve in Oak Brook, Illinois. Uh, nice little waterfall here. Uh, there's a little inlet to the left that's man-made that goes to the mill that used to turn the wheel. It was a grain mill back in the 1800s. Uh, we've got some kind of neat bird here, right there. Um, there's a lot of types of heron here, so I don't know if that's a heron or not but i do know that the one over here uh, i believe is a is a black crown night heron uh right there out on the logs in the middle of the water uh so this is a beautiful little park uh, it's got the historic mill up behind me uh and then it's got this beautiful waterfall that obviously drains the area upstream from rain and all that sort of stuff and you got a very nice view there. Down here by the shore, we got quite a bit of foam there. And uh, if we come back here, uh, you can see up there is the old mill. This was an 1800s mill. It, it milled grain. Uh, it has a water wheel, which uh, we'll show in a moment. Uh, and um, that's it. We got a really nice day today. Decided to get out uh, because the weather is beautiful it's in the low 70s after three days of nearly 100 degree weather and then we'll take a look here gotta make sure I don't fall into the river um, comes down here uh, under the bridge there and it continues on its way okay so I've come up from the river and then uh, the rivers there in the distance and then you can see over here, uh, this is, the, I don't know what the official term for it is, but it's the canal uh, that they put in place to draw some of the water off of the river for the mill. So the water runs down through here, and it isn't at, they've kind of got it blocked off. It's not an active water wheel at the moment, uh, but the water makes its way down here, across here, down through here to the water wheel on the side of the mill there okay and then you can see the little uh, there's the water wheel made of wood and there's the axle going into the building that turns the gears that turns the grinders inside uh, now they do do grinding of grain still but it's done by electrical uh, rather than the water wheel uh, the building itself if I pull back here it's a beautiful old brick building right there. Uh, just lovely. Back in the 1800s, this was a, a grain mill for the local area. It also was a stop on the Underground Railroad. Uh, escaped slaves were hidden in the basement of this building, and there's a little museum down there uh, for that right now. Where's Henry? So now we're, I just had to shift position, so we're coming down along the side of the mill. And then as you can see there, here is the water wheel. So anyways, um, I just thought... I might share this since I was out enjoying these sites today. And then uh, we come around here. There's a nice walkway that heads down along the river. You've got the, uh, the canal on the right side for the, the water wheel, and then the river is off here uh, to the left. Okay, so here is the outlet from the water wheel. You can see uh, the wheel there, get a nice view of it. And you have the outlet there. And there's the building just a really nice building there you come up here they have a nice garden set up okay very nice And then as we come over here, the outlet continues. As we can see here, as I said, it's not in use right now, so the water level in it is 
pretty limited. And there it goes back out to the river. Uh, and just to give you a sense here as I bring pull this back, um, there's the river right over there. So the little stream for the water wheel runs parallel uh, to the river. And then over here, uh, you get a real nice view of the river there, and it's actually running uh, pretty quick today. Uh, we did have a lot of rain in the last uh, few days, even though it was quite hot. Uh, and you can see it there. Uh, quite a bit of debris uh, built up over there against the bridge. Perhaps carried along over the waterfall and the like. And then they have this nice walking path here. Very, uh, very pretty, very picturesque. And uh, we walk along here. And then we're a bit of a distance now from the waterfall. Uh, so the river, so the river is uh, slowing down a bit. It's a little bit more calm, uh, but still moving at a pretty brisk pace. Uh, and there, oh, what do we have down there? We have a duck. Let's see if we can zoom in on him. Oh, there he is. Okay. So we got a lovely duck there. So a lot of different uh, wildlife here, particularly birds of various kinds, ducks, heron, kingfishers, uh, a variety of things. Uh, and then this is the river and it goes on its way. Okay, over here at the side we have this nice little garden and they've got this interesting traditional fencing here which uh, is called a wattle fence. It says it has been used for thousands of years around the world, attractive as well as functional, and constructed with natural materials. So let's just get a good close-up view of that. All right, so that's kind of cool. And then back to the building here. Uh, this is the front over here. So we'll just pop around and get a view of the front. Up to the top, and then back down. And the entryway. So let's get a good close-up look at the sign. Growl Bill established 1852. Operating grist mill, fresh stone ground meal, spinning, weaving, craft demonstrations, visual and performing arts. Excellent. We'll make our way up here. Dun, dun, dun. And there we are. And the cost. Relatively uh, decent cost. Uh, pretty limited hours. They're only open Thursday, Friday, and Sunday from 10 to 4, 12 to 4 on Sunday. So, anyways, there you have it. So, anyways, uh, there's the mill. And then just here off to the side of the mill, uh, we have the home of the mill owning family. This is the Frederick Grau House, uh, a beautiful style of architecture. Um, which I really like. It, it reminds me of some of the architecture I saw on the East Coast, some of it dating to the colonial period uh, in Alexandria, Old Town, Virginia, for example, uh, and the like. And then as we come along the house, this is actually the side of the house. And then we come around here and we get to the front of this beautiful house with this lovely porch. All right, so the home here, and the mill over there, and the river right behind it. Anyways, this has been a bit of a change of pace. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, this is Coinhound, signing off.